Hello and welcome back to sessions on AMDS with Travel Academy English. My name is Gaurav Kira. In the last video, we understood how do we, uh, you know, retrieve an itinerary. What is the command to check the itinerary? In this video, we're going to be checking how do we pick it up. I wanted to do that in the previous video itself, but it got too long, so we could not do it in that video. Now, in this video, we will try and pick up an itinerary. It's a really simple task. So what you do is that if you remember the command that we entered, it was 25th July last time that we entered. Let's let's change the cities. Uh, let's leave from Chicago. Chicago has a city code of CHI, but it has majorly two airports. So one is a Midway. One is, I think, Chicago O'Hare. O'Hare being the most famous one. Most of the flights take off from Chicago O'Hare now. We will change it. We will take it like CHI to London. So again, AN 25 July CHI London. In the previous video, we understood how do we actually come to this point. We learned about all the filters. We learned about how do we check it. So in case you're you know watching this video for the first time, it would be it would be great if you check the other video. So we will learn how do we pick up any flight. It's a very simple task. If you know how to retrieve a flight, picking it up is, you know, a piece of cake. Also, if you're coming here for the first time, you can subscribe to the channel and you can like this video. You can share it with people who really need it, who are into travel industry. We will be, you know, bringing in some content like IATA stuff, uh, all the, the course that we have in IATA, some travel terminologies, global indicator. So it is going to be a one stop shop for everybody who is working in a travel industry. So that's basically the target that we have is that nobody should have any problem in uh, while they're working in travel industry. If, you, if they have any problem, you can refer to this channel. We have a Hindi channel also. This is the first, uh, this is a new channel that we have created, Travel Academy English. The other channel is Travel Academy. It is in a different language that is in Hindi. This is for those for those uh, who do not understand Hindi. We have created this channel because we, we got a lot of requests from a lot of people. Also, you can, uh, you know, join the Telegram channel, which is in the description. Uh, Description. The link is in the description. You can click on it and you can play the daily quizzes. Also, we upload the documents, the documents that you can read of IATA, of uh, other, other documents that we create for the people, for our student and for our community. And finally, you can uh, also uh, it's, it's a long speech that we have to give. But then if you are, uh, uh, you know, interested in the latest news and, uh, you know, updates, you can you know like and follow the facebook and instagram channel that we have instagram page that we have which is also in the description now sorry for the long speech let's come back to this thing so an 25th of july chicago london and then you have uh, uh, let's say any airlines that we prefer let's say we prefer uh, mm, let's say we don't prefer any airlines we just press enter you see all this availability we learned how to read this in the previous video now now let's see, uh, uh, let's say we want to pick up the flight, which is number, which is on the number two, segment number two, American Airlines 090 departs from Chicago, Terminal 3, arrives in London, Terminal 3, departs at 8.55 a.m., arrives in uh, London at 10.35 p.m., non-stop flight, 7.89, as we discussed in the previous one, it is air, it is Boeing because it starts with seven and you have a total flight time of seven hours and 40 minutes. Now, if you want to pick this up, let's say you, you choose a specific class. Let's say you say, you know what, I want two seats in uh, this flight, in this class, Nancy. So you do SS. SS is basically, uh, you know, seat selling command. This is how you will be picking up a seat. So SS, let's say you want to pick up two seats. So now you will have number of seats that you want to pick up. One, two, three, four, five, and so on then you put a class so the class here is n n is nancy that's what we want to pick up and then you choose the segment number which is over here uh, it is two so you press two so ss2 n2 now if you if you try and understand this this really means that ss is the command then you have two two is basically the number of seats after ss we we use number of seats that you want to pick up how many passengers in other words then you have the class which is nancy in this case and then you put the segment number which can be anything in this case it is number two the flight is on number two now what you do is that you simply once you 
enter it you press enter if it is available it is going to come up if it is not available it will not come up so generally it is available but uh, in some cases we see that the uh, you know uh, the flight shown is not the live availability so it gives us that uh, thing it is taking some time right now but we were able to pick this up so if you see it is aa 090 this is the flight number n belongs to the class which is nancy 25 july is the day of departure one is basically the day of the week so monday being the first day of the week tuesday is second wednesday is third friday you know uh, friday uh, thursday is fourth friday is fifth saturday is sixth and sunday is seventh so one means monday so this flight must be on a monday departing from chicago arriving in london heathrow you look at the time it is the same chicago it is departing at 8:55 arriving in london at 10:35 pm 3 is the uh, the terminal number ss2 so we will discuss about the status in the next video that what are the pnr status or uh, uh, in fact i will give you a small idea of what exactly are this uh, status so let's we will have a separate video also in future about pnr status but i will give you a small small introduction about them so we have different status in pnr like hk like uh, you know tk like hn nn we have these uh, documents in the telegram channel in case you are interested in you know if you are one of those who also read you can go through that that will enhance your travel knowledge then you have hn nn hl and then we have no uc ux uh then you have uh, hx so all these these are the status that you will see over here at this at this place now what are these if you see these status means something they have a meaning behind it for example so every every status has a different meaning but if i'll give you a broader meaning as of now these generally means that there is a problem in the flight or the flight is not confirmed although each one of these has a different meaning we will discuss in the separate video but right now we need to understand that if you see one of these it means your flight is not confirmed you look at hk it means it is confirmed this is the status you will be looking for so this is this means confirmed and this is the most important one hk tk basically is a you know a message from the airlines that there is some change in the flight generally the time or the date so if airline change something from their end due to force major you know you know because of fog or whatever reasons if there is a change they will update you through this status these generally means that your flight is neither unconfirmed nor confirmed it is somewhere in between pending wait list whatever different meaning but then it says that it is somewhere in between hn nn hl so we will be understanding this in detail but i just wanted to give you a background of what these status means now coming back to this when you see ss when you see dk uh, you know till the time we haven't create created a pnr uh, it might give you status like uh, dk uh you know dk or ss you can leave it for a while this also is equivalent to hk right now you can say it is confirmed there is no problem in it because we haven't created a pnr yet it is just the first uh, flight that we have picked up if you remember pnr is passenger name record a booking number now flight leaves at 8:55 am arrives at 10:35 pm 7:39 7:89 is boeing Uh, non-stop flight electronic ticket b now this b belongs to breakfast this means that they so okay how do you check it is he so he is basically the help commands in amadeus if you do he meal and you press enter you will see there are different options coming up over here meal codes in ssr meal codes in flight information let's say you look at this one ms64 so if you check ms22 it will also give you some information but now we would need to see what this b means we will be using this while we are will be uh, while we will be working on uh, the when we will be working on 
SSRs. Now, SSRs is special service request. Whenever you request for a meal, uh, we, we need to know the specific codes that airlines have. But as of now, we do not need to see that. We just need to see the flight information meal codes. So if you do MS, it says MS64. You enter MS64 over here. You press enter and you see different codes. Now, B belongs to breakfast. K is continental breakfast. L is lunch. D is dinner. S is snack. O is cold meal. H is hot meal. The same way you will see different codes resembles different thing. We have sent, we have also shared this uh, in the telegram channel in case you want to go through these codes. Now, B belongs to breakfast. That's the first and most important thing. You want to go back where you were, you press RT. RT is a retrieve. We will come back to the flights that we picked up. Now, we know that this flight has breakfast, but you know, you are not sure, you don't know whether this flight also, like, like, this flight is breakfast, but do you have breakfast uh, in, in your uh, class? It is just like when you go to a hotel and uh, hotel serves uh, breakfast for free. But then, you know, is it included in, in your reservations, right? Is it is it uh, like a part of your booking or not? Because hotel will be serving breakfast, but if it is not included in your package, then you will have to pay extra for for the meal same happens in airline that breakfast might be a part of uh, the flight but then if your class which in this case is nancy if this class is uh, eligible if you are eligible to get the meal in this class then you will be getting it how do you check it is that you will enter a command which is do do is a do command where you can check all the information about the flight the uh, you know the terminal where it is going to depart where it is going to arrive how many uh, you know what is the date uh, how many uh, you know passengers can sit inside the plane so different information can be given can be retrieved from here so you do do one one because the flight is in number one segment number one so do one you press enter and now you see you get a screen which gives you this information. It's really simple. If you see, it says airport ORD, ORD is Chicago O'Hare. So that's where it's going to depart at departure is at 8.55 AM. The day is Monday. It arrives in London Heathrow at 22.35. So that's basically the time of uh, arrival in London. And it arrives on the same day, which is Monday in the evening. Then you see these are the classes. These are the RBDs we discussed in the previous video. So these are the uh, RBDs and it says in all these RBDs you will be getting slash B and S. B is breakfast, S is snacks. Again, all these classes you will be getting breakfast and snacks. When you see a slash, it means it is going to give you the meal code. And we have N class. If you see N, N class will have breakfast and it will also have snacks in it. So we or our passenger will be getting this meal this is for sure equipment is 789 this is boeing uh 750 is estimated flight time eft total time is also 740 740 basically if you would have two different flights in this uh you know in this uh, in this journey in this itinerary then it is going to add seven hours 40 minutes plus that flight time and then it gives you uh, total time over here it just gives you the uh, time of estimated flight time and then it gives you the total time departs from terminal 3 arrives in terminal 3 it says uh, this airline is a member of one world so basically what happens is that there are three different alliances that we have of airlines major alliances one is one world one is sky team and one is uh, star alliance so different airlines are a part of different alliances they have uh, different agreements different uh, you know they have they share different policies so that's a different thing we'll we'll uh, come cover that in a specific segment now member of one world this airline is American airline is and then you see it, it has Wi-Fi and everything so one is one thing which is really important here is that if you do MD MD is basically for moving down if you want to move down you do MD you want to move up you do MU so MU to move up MD is to move down look at this it says configuration 789 789 is the equipment number the configuration is basically this why is economy class in economy class you have 234 passengers who can sit 
uh, over here you see premium economy 21 and business class uh, 30 so this is the configuration that you have of the plane and there are different information over here so do will help you in understanding all these details you do rt and you come back to where you have picked up the flight so look at this this is how you will be picking up a flight if you remember ss number of seats class the segment number if you do this you will be able to pick up the flight and this is how you read it right and because it got too long in the previous video we have created an, another video for you if you have any question uh, you can write in the comment box in case you have you know any 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 suggestion you can also uh, write us and in case you want to uh, you know contact for training you can uh, email us on info at travelacademy.com or you can whatsapp on this number thank you so much for watching this video i will see you in the next video bye bye